<laughs> hello everyone. Yeah, hello. Um, I somewhat forgot where we were to be honest. It feels like it's been a week, but it's only been three days or four. I, like, it has to be one or the other, right? Um, I think we continue here, dead or alive. What the? A ruin Richter visits Michio's home, having determined her to be a key play. Why am I so full of crumbs? Sorry. Um, determined her to be a key player in the unresolved kidnapping case from a year before. As the complicated story begins to unravel, they encounter two men. August was 30 days ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> Blue stroked out in the middle of a sentence, but he managed to hit enter. It was two weeks the other side took control, Herr Delta. Herr Delta. I don't think I've ever been called Herr Delta. Like, when I get, like, uh, in Germany we have, like, formal speak and informal speak, pretty much. We have you and we have you, right? We have du, which is, like, a personal you, and we have sie, which is, like, a formal you. <laughs> Whenever, like, young people... In German, it's called Seetzen. Whenever they seats me, whenever they're like talking to me in like formal, polite speech, I feel weird because I, I've been stuck 20 years ago or something. At least my mind has been. So I, I still feel young, yet at the same time, I feel so incredibly old. And when I see the young whippersnappers, I'd like to break their fucking neck. So, languages with formal and informal forms are heavily autistic. I know, and that's based. Ma'am, allow me to introduce one of our country's most elite detectives. The name's Jun Ariel. I'd hardly call myself a lead, but either way, it's nice to meet you. Jun looks like he fucks, like, MILFs. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like a protagonist in a, in a hentai dojin who just fucking NTRs every single, like, housewife in the neighborhood or something. Like, he... He, he has, like, a huge dick, doesn't he? That's what he looks like. I wonder if it's because with his, like, holster, he looks a little bit like a schoolboy or something. Like, this is a weird connection to make, but he just looks so young and innocent and so, so unassuming that I just assume him to be, like, this depraved fucking asshole stealing the love of my life from me. It's a good start to the stream. I think I've set the mood and the tone. This here is the brilliant Chief Inspector Tsutsumi, and yes, he's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting me or putting me down. So you two are detectives? Uh, well, on the one hand, she should be okay with them being working for the like police force members because of her family. On the other hand, she, um, she must despise the police for the handling of her son's kidnapping, right? Holds the equal schoolboy. <laughs> it looks like a fucking backpack! I know it's a gun holster, but it looks like a backpack. He looks like... Me, basically. I'm walking around with a backpack because I'm, like, forever 12 or something. <laughs> this is my client, Mr. Roshigimi. The father's a big deal in the police himself, so remember to mind your manners. Hee <laughs> hee. A big wig named Shigima? What do you know of this guy? Shit, I've heard the name, but, you know, I don't keep track of who's who in the upper act lots. Oh, she looks very smug there. I like that. There's no need to worry. I am my own person after all, and my father has nothing to do with any of this. My husband, however... <laughs> the Finnish don't even have a difference between him and her pronouns. What the fuck? How do you... What the... What? How does this work? You have no genders? Like... Do you women have dicks or something like that? Is that how it works in, in Finland? Michael Jordan. You surely meant Michael Jackson and Hag. With old man and youngling. <laughs> youngling, I like that term. Ooh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting off easy again this time. Don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business. It ain't like that. You both seem rather jovial despite being detectives. How rare. All the police officers I've met have always been so dull. Well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll run up all you criminals with a smile. That's our motto. And afterwards, I'll fuck you, Miss Shigima. How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on a second. It is the first I'm hearing of that. Were well, you right about them not being your typical detectives? 
I'm Haru, apparently. Right. Seems they were acquainted, but also like they ha haven't talked in a long time. Okay. Let's take a look at him. A young and energetic detective. He seems to have a strong sense of justice. If my son had a chance to grow older, perhaps he would have become an officer just like him. He seems like he's got a lot of experience working the, working the streets. Isn't that the term you use when you're like a hooker or something? Working the streets? That's like a... Also, give me a sec. I like... Accidentally my, my screen set up. Uh, that's... That's... Better. Most of the officers I know are the bureaucratic desk jockey types. The contrast is rather striking. Anything we can like maybe maybe there's like a bird here somewhere? Just just a cheeky bird somewhere? No Oh here we go. Damn there wait Damn there was one here Lucky That's number twelve the Royal King Pink Queen Oh that's so Oh like he's a chomper, isn't he? Like Love his red shirt though. What's his name? Oh he she just said it it's the Royal King Penguin. Okay. Love his red shirt. Not many men can wear red shirts. If you like wearing red shirts, chances are you look ridiculous doing it. But if you're a penguin, more power to you. I guess uh, knowing how to deal with cops is also part of an investigator's job. Not quite. The two of us used to be comrades as all. Comrades? That's right. Richter used to be part of the police force himself. He quit a few years ago to go solo. That's so. You should give it a try, Ario. There's more freedom in working as a private investigator. We can't say much for the quality of life, though. <laughs> it's been two years, right? I hadn't heard of you since you quit. Didn't think your business would last, but here you are. You sure you don't want to return to the force? We take you back with open arms. You think they really would? Like a, a traitor? What's it called? A turn turncoat or something? Uh, well, he's not really like... It's not like he... You went to a different country to work for the police or something, or like for the enemy, but... You turned private investigator, that's got a sting on like the police... ...boss, whatever it's called, the chief detective. What? To sit on my ass and watch the birds fly? I'll take a pass, I don't belong in that world. Come on, Richter, we need your talent, the public needs you. No, you don't, this is my calling, the police will manage just, uh, just fine without me. Without me? Keep on tying up all your loose ends. Saving the little birdies you abandon. He's so freaking based. By the way, ma'am, this might be sudden, but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. Are you a curse bearer? And that is? You happen to know anything about the seven mysteries of Honjo? Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly. With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. I, there's not many people around, right? Because all the people we meet would just com completely ask them outright, just out of the blue. Hey, are you a curse bearer? Hmm, if you insist. So the only people that are out and about are curse bearers. That's what it feels like. What do you say, ma'am? Can you tell us anything? Um, I don't know much or like dot dot dot. I think we're gonna dot 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 him. Can't say I know much. What was the difference between two options? That's so... Uh, well, I'm sorry for the intrusion. Did I just choose wrong? What brings you here, Richter? You on a case? That's right! I'm picking up the police's slack! I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year? Oh, remember now, you're dead, Haru Shigima, from the kidnapping case! Huh? Did I miss something? Don't be an idiot! It was the case where Munezada Shigima's grandson was kidnapped. It must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed, the story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it was considered a huge failure on the police department's part. Got a safe face. Most of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So they never caught a culprit, huh? That's rough. So your findings have brought you to this place then? That's right. An individual connected to the case used to live around here. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I think I just made the fucking connection and I could have done it like three streams ago. 
no, wait, that doesn't that doesn't line up properly time wise. I thought for a second, oh, glasses guy and his girlfriend kidnapped the the son, but and then then sped off killing the schoolgirl, right? Because we now know that they sped off and killed the schoolgirl. But that doesn't make sense because the kidnapping was one year ago and the killing of the schoolgirl was like two weeks ago, so... But, well, I don't know, maybe they did both, you know? Maybe they did both. We'll find out. Kind of funny that we now have like 99% confirmation that they did, in fact... What was the name? Mishio? That they like drove over Mishio, they like Isekai her. They did her service, actually. Like, considering how bad her life was, I'm sure wherever she is now, like, reborn as, like, a candy bar or, like, a, a pond or as, like, a, a panty. Wherever she is, easy kai to now, it's, it's a better place than being abused by her stepfather, right? Unrelated speeding incidents. This city is a fucking mess. There's so many of them. That's right. An individual connected to the case used to live around here. Used to? That's right. As of last week, they're deceased. We'd hope to talk to the family. Why does he look so smug about that? No one was home in a chat last time, so we figured we'd try again. Interesting. Interesting because you're looking for the same person, or why? I can't believe you were actually part of the police force once. Didn't he say so? There's a story behind everything, ma'am. I don't regret my time in the force. I wouldn't have the connections I have today without it. Eh? Sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these. There really was a culprit. Wait, 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 what do you mean if there really was? You think he kidnapped himself? Should be our responsibility to bring them to justice. Well, I do consider the police my people. Do you consider the blame to be shared? You've got a stern side as well, I see. Oh, yeah, Ariel's a good boy. And to think of it, I heard some things about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Wait a second. I assume they were talking about you, investigator. Well, I won't argue that I'm strange and... Wait. I won't argue that I'm strange and conspicuously dressed in white. But it doesn't matter if it's black or white. <laughs> and as it turns out, I was out here last night to conduct my investigation. Fuck, I'm like dropping so many Michael Jackson references, but no one's gonna get them! Did you run into anything strange out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. I guess I did observe a few suspicious characters. You were asking about curses just now. No. Wait, was he? Wasn't he asking about the mysteries of Honjo? Hmm. Why would a public servant be interested in the occult? Boss. Rich is a smart man. He can help us if we tell him what we know. Yeah, let's just tell everyone. We've already told the high school girls as well, so what's the harm, really? I can't promise I'll be of any help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you've got to say. Something is happening in Honjo, isn't it? Must be something big if the cut your head off his guys on it. Yeah, I feel like he's turning into Mickey Mouse again. <laughs> if I talk too much like him, like I, I just lose the edge. I guess it's alright. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Thank you, boss. Listen closely to what we're about to say, Richter. Are you guys okay with me calling him a Richter rather than Richter? Which would be like how English people pronounce it because they can't into CH. Oh, so we're using curses to commit murders. These people collect soul tracks to perform the rite of resurrection. Richter is, by the way, the German name for judge. If anyone is interested. So that... Like, I don't know if this is, like, a deliberate choice of name or if it's, like, a coincidence or something. Because, obviously, the Japanese, they love the Germans. They love the German names. And these cursed stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Honjo. It's a tough story to swallow, but I don't see a reason to doubt you either. <laughs> Figure figured a strange occurrence is happening around here recently are connected to these curses. Get this situation under control? We've been searching for the cursed bearers to confiscate the cursed stones. Do you have any information that might help us? That stuff. I never expected curses and not a bumper jumper to play it at us all. But if we're talking shady characters. It was this middle aged fellow I saw on South Arigasui Street. He had an average build. He was anxious, like he was searching for prey. But what do you think? Well, considering the location, it could have been Hideki Arishi. We already got his cursed stone. Impressive. You two are working quick. 
Richter is basically probing. He's trying to see how much they know and have. Without giving too much away. Did you see anything else? Not that I can remember. Do you remember? <laughs> That's a shame. Michael Jackson had a song about everything. It's kind of crazy, right? Alright, any, anything else to talk about? We don't with him. Sure doesn't look good on the police. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. I think it's pretty interesting how they chose to team up the characters here. Hag and MJ both have had had have secrets they didn't want to reveal while being decent people who don't want to play along with the curse game, but will do so anyways for their own reasons. And then old men and youngling have gone through different experiences for different amount of times, which makes the gaps in each other strengths. Yeah, I think like the, the character pairings are pretty nice. I also love that Yako didn't have to to like stay alone. Like Yako and Mew are very similar, yet again, like there's this gap in experience between what they are going through right now because Mew is like an occult expert and they're also like very different character wise still but they're both high school girls so it's like a it's like a very different perspective to like these adults right I love them all I love them all they're all very interesting very nicely designed as well like from a purely artistic standpoint if you see any characters who look like they might be carrying a cursed stone it would be a huge help if you let us know absolutely I'll let you know if I find anything Richter, perhaps you could lend a hand on our case, too? There's a number of people we can't track, and finding missing persons happens to be a specialty, no? I hate to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. The faith of my clients is what keeps me afloat. I have to prioritize requests by the order in which they come. I see. Well, I can't say that's not fair. What do you need a private investigator for anyway? The cops should have plenty of bright folks to throw the job. True, but this isn't an ordinary case we're dealing with here. It's an occult one, right? Huh? By the way, that reminds me, Richter. Ariel is oddly sharp himself, so watch him just stumble his way into finding out the cursed stone or something. Yes. You said the person who used to live here died last week. You wouldn't be referring to Monsieur Shireishi by chance. You knew. You hussy. He's very careful not to lie to them and not to reveal anything either. Hmm. With the two girls, a lot of naivety, despite having a lot of powers. They're probably strong in terms of curse compared to the others. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the girls are like the most occult team because one of them is an expert on the occult and can exercise, and the other one is possessed by a fucking ghost and has like one of the strongest curse powers in the game right now. So that's kind of interesting to see where this goes. Also, I, I sure hope we're gonna get Shogo. No, no, we're not gonna get Shogo back. Shogo is, was like the was like the red herring protagonist, right, for like an hour or two, and then he got killed away. However, Yoko, I wonder if we'll find Yoko again. Surely Yoko must be Tsugumi. Tsugumi? I can't remember his name. Like the old police guy's daughter, right? That must be Yoko. Yeah, it must be Yoko. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. Seems like we're here for the same reason, then. Seriously? Misha was involved with curses and magic? Directly speaking, the curse part isn't our concern. We're looking into Yoshimi's case. Yoshimi? Oh, right. Hajime, Hajime Yoshimi. That's right, he died on the job. I'm sure you've heard of it. I heard. It was a most unfortunate loss. But there's a connection between Hajime Yoshimi of the Juvenile Division and Mishio. Well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she had something to do with the kidnapping? Oh, time to actually share information, I guess. Hmm. Talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutually beneficial. I'll tell you what I know, but in turn I want the full scoop on your findings concerning Michio. Sure, to tell you the truth, we don't know much. What? You believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Chunuichi? So he was just mumbling nonsense? Oh, yeah, oh my god, yes, he came to him, didn't he? I, for, like, for the longest time I thought, this is, this is fucking weird, he told everyone that he was gonna get killed. <laughs> and no one better than I. But it was him and he didn't know until now, really. I mean, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet. 
But the testimonies we've heard and the evidence we found point in that direction. Testimony? You mean from those uh, psychic high schoolers? Didn't they also say there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Like Epstein. Wait, that's all true then. Did you figure something out? I love these very dynamic Ace Attorney poses. Wow. Kankichiro Iwai! Oh, wow. It really looks kind of cute when she's scared. I don't know if this is like a weird fetish to have. Huh? Kankichiro Iwai, you'll be the next victim. We have to open the door to the Shiraishi's house. We have to look inside. Hey, what's gotten into you? Boss? I'm sure the landlord would give us the key if we asked. Screw that. You know how long that could take. We can ask for permission later. He's already dead. Already dead. Hence why no one is opening the door. R Richter? Hey, Richter, calm down. We can't just... Bang! And the door is gone. Big eyes, Lambda. It's big eyes. Do you think I'm, like, attracted to big... Yeah, I've, I kind of like big eyes, you're right. But there's something, like... I think about small eyes as well. It's just... I don't know. Like, I just love anime women, I think. Take that, you shitty door. That's how you do it. He he he. Come on. Richter, get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> I see you're still the same as always. Everyone, come quick. Look at this. Ah, he's already... Oh, he's been curse killed as well. Look at him. Ah. Whoa, what's up with this room? Boss, there's a dead body in here. Well, could that be Misha's dead? Stepdad? No, he's a stepdad at best of dad. It's got to be the body of Kankichi Railway. There's no doubt about it. This man's a goner. He's got real master. Looks like he's been like this for a while. I'd say it happened last night. Eri, did you find Junoichi's body in the same state? No, did you mention it? It looked as though Koei Junoichi had died from a number of heavy blows. I'm sure this guy enjoyed a number of heavy blowings, yeah. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Mishio Shiraishi. She's alive! She used the power of the curses to get back at the man who ruined her life. That's ridiculous. You're suggesting she actually revived? No, she's possessing Yako! Damn it, everyone! Am I like the most occult expert here? It's got to be that. And if she's alive, then. It's got to be a next victim! The guy who killed. who killed her. Right. My apologies for interrupting. I know we've just arrived at an interesting plot point. But do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Let's do this. What if Mishio Shirishi never died? I mean, Mishio is Yako. And Yako died. Like, she, like this, is, this is a Kotaro Uchikoshi story. And they're going to reveal this at the end. They did a, like, they did a person swap. But seeing as you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? And so, I would have you answer me a question. When Honjo was Mishio Shirishi at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? Where was she at 8 o'clock? At the candy shop or were they at the school? Like one or the other? I didn't pay attention. Where the fuck was Yako at 8? Did he go to school at 8? Or did he come later? Fucking hell! Mind swap? Yeah, yeah. Like they, they did like a, I don't know. It, it's either like a mind swap or like Yaku completely died, body and soul, and Mishio just took over her place or something. Can't believe missing a single half stream killed my understanding of the story. What? Really? <laughs> what are you missing? What are you not understanding, Blue? It's cool. You think? Yes. Wait, wrong voice. I almost gave him the Michael Jackson treatment. Oh, I see, I see. So that's what you think. Let's take a moment to reconsider what you know and choose again, shall we? Oh, shit. <laughs> I see very well. Congratulations, you're correct. So if you choose incorrectly, it's gonna tell you. So uh, this pretty much confirms that she's either inhabiting Yaku's body as a ghost or she is Yako. Right? You got the wrong one time. Well, it's a trivial matter. May have been easier to reach that conclusion had you considered the cause of death. What? 
Ah, uh, you know he's referring to the cause of death of the people and it's Yako's curse. I just didn't know where Yako was at 8 o'clock, dude. I'm not some creepy stalker. Let's get back to the story then, shall we? have taken up enough of your time. Sorry to interrupt, but our small indie company was acquired by Electronic Arts, so to continue the story, you will have to purchase the DLC for 15 plus dollars. Also, get the season pass. And have you seen this aerial big dick microtransaction? Please buy it. Small indie company, thank you. What, do you really think Misha Shirishi is alive? Just think it through and it all becomes obvious. Tracks, but... Do you really think that girl could have managed all of this? First of all, Eric, go report this to HQ. Understood, I'll get on it right away. I don't even know how everyone got together. They just randomly met up. Um, the two detectives and the two school schoolgirls met at school. Randomly. Because, well, they were investigating the death of the teacher. And the schoolgirls also kind of did the same, I guess. And they're like schoolgirls, right? And these two came here because of Mishio Shiraishi. Um... Uh, Michio Shirashi is basically tying this all together. Like, she's involved with every single person <laughs> somehow. <laughs> and and so they started investigating. Like, Michio Shirashi was involved with the kidnapping of the son. Michio Shirashi is also involved with the curses. She's also involved with the death of the teacher. And she's also involved with Yako being her, her childhood friend. And so on and so forth. But she's dead, supposedly. Allegedly. Uh, most likely as that as Epstein, right? I'll start investigating this place. It sure isn't lacking in stuff that needs a looking at. There's a bunch of photos of the same person pasted on the wall over there. Do you guys recognize this guy? Sure looks like a fat Jenny. Huh? What now? Hold on. These photos. These are all of Fumishika Nejima. Gross. Really? Come to think of it. He was in the papers a lot back in the day. Oh, there's even more pasted up over there. These are all cutouts from newspapers and magazines about the Nishima murders. Why was she obsessed with that? Do you think she... Do you think she found out? Do you think she was obsessed with him in like either a positive or a negative way and she found out that the janitor is Fumishika Nishima? And then the janitor somehow made the glasses guy and his girlfriend kill her or something by driving her over? I don't get it. Me neither, Tsutsumi. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. It's an incredible number of photos. Yeah, it's quite a lot of them, I think. This floor is really old. Chief Inspector, do you mind if I look inside? Huh? I mean, in normal cases, only the police would be allowed to touch things, right? Right, area is near, so let me take a look at it. Richter is really careful. It's just close in here. Not much variety either. Can't say they were big spenders. Well, I was hoping to find a kind of talisman here, but I guess we're not so lucky. I see. Thank you anyway. Decorations. There are counts and stones with inscriptions placed all over. Are these tools for some ritual? Hey, don't touch anything here. Ah, oh, that's right. Considering this is a murder scene, we ought to leave everything as it is. All of this can be used as evidence. If anyone besides forensics toys with it, it will cause trouble down the road. Mm. It's off putting. Oh, pardon me, I'm like having a, like a minor stroke. Ah, it's off putting to look at, but I can't help but wonder what in the world this is. They're magic ruins. They're used in Western black magic rituals. Most of the time they're useless imitations, though. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Oh my, who knew the chief inspector was such an expert on the occult? I just chanced upon that information. The girl with the spirit sense we mentioned, she's pretty informed on the subject. I wonder if he mentioned to them that he's working for, like, the secret police force. He really shouldn't have told them. <laughs> hmm. I guess he didn't. Someone was attempting to perform western black magic at this place. Pretty absurd if you ask me. Of course, the person in question was dead serious about it all. Oh, are we gonna get a Western black, black magic? Here we go. Well, magic is often classed as a branch of mysticism or may variously refer to the likes of witchcraft or astrology. Here it refers specifically to Western black magic. 
In the Middle Ages, the line between science and magic was blurred, with the pursuit of the supernatural considered a legitimate academic discipline. Astrology was regarded akin to astronomy, while alchemy was accepted as scientific fact and would eventually evolve into what is today known today as chemistry. Yeah, turning butter into like... What, what is Lighting Hand doing again? Something with butter. One discipline, however, was considered wicked and shunned accordingly. Black magic. Is it okay to say in 2024? The practice of using magical knowledge to strike a bargain with demons. Like Faust. In contrast to the socially acceptable subjects studied by the intelligentsia, black magic was most prolific among the lower classes. It was the common people who suffered most from the ills of the day, war, famine and sickness, which perhaps led them to seek aid from unholy powers. As heresy, these rituals and spells were nowhere to be found in orthodox modes of teaching, but instead were recorded in tomes of dubious credibility. Alchemy is still magic? Yeah, I mean... What is alchemy really, other than like chemistry? Is alchemy different because like alchemy believes in uh, oh I can turn water into gold by just dancing around the the bottle three times? There are old books scattered everywhere. I wonder what they're about. Many of them are written in a foreign language. It'll be a pain to look through all of these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around. All right. Sliding door. The sliding door leads to the kitchen. It barely fits the frame. Oh, accidentally the old books again. Look at these. Pictures of Fumichi Kaneshima cut out from newspapers and magazines. Whoever put these up was upset. I wonder what their intent was. I think the Shiraishis are somehow connected to the Nejima case. Perhaps they did this as to not forget a grudge or something. Crazy to think Nejima might be involved in all this too. Hmm, do you think he might have anything to do with the body here? Maybe, the man's already out on parole. He's a cursed bearer with a cursed stone now. He announced that, from sundown today, he'll be going on a killing spree. Oh dear! <laughs> That's the reaction, Harue. Oh dear, oh my, oh no, that can't happen. There's an emergency search on the way as we speak, but no one's yet managed to get a hold of the bastard. I don't want to spread any panic, but we're all gonna be fucking dead by tomorrow. <laughs> so he has changed his ways. That doesn't bode well. To tell you the... Wait. To tell you the truth, the lady here isn't completely connected from the nature of my murders either. You don't see? Shouldn't he recognize her? That's right. We talked about it last night. And 20 years ago, I found the hand in Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't see. You were the kid from back then? To me, arrested Nijima, so he must have known the girl. Harue. You were really brave. You did a great deed. You were, were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. So you two have met before. Fancy that. I've been worried that Fumishika Nijima might bear resentment towards you, ma'am. Mm, you might be right. Unfortunately, that asshole is quite a resentful type. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. My god, she's so fucking emotionless. I love it. This game could use some voice acting for Harue. By the Bina VA. Yeah, I would be up for the Bina VA just voicing just about every older woman, to be honest. I think that would be quite nice. If you catch my drift. I would very much like that. Alchemy's goal was to make gold out of metals. Alchemy is just magical chemistry. Have I shared a photo of that one crime scene when I was in Pakistan? I don't think you have. It's a weird thing to share. A, cr a photo of a crime scene. <laughs> I think I would remember. Actually, a drug Wikipedia. I've used DuckDuckGo with all the information on how to make every makeshift drug and the effects described by users. Um, thanks for that, like, random knowledge bomb lightning head. What are you... What are you trying to do? Don't ask how I know it. It just, it just goes back to our discussion of, like, search engines, right? Only goes to show that DuckDuckGo is still DuckDuck-based. 
That asshole. I wonder who put the idea into his head. Now he's got the one-sided read too. He's threatening to massacre the people of Honju at sundown. Seriously? On top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, the man's gone and threatened to kill my daughter. Damn, that's quite a threat. Certainly you can't afford to stay put here. here. The fucker wants to get us all antsy. When I finally get to arresting him, it'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Well, if Eva and Fumishi Kanishima have anything to do with each other, that this room might hold a clue to Nishima's location. Let's hope so. They were both in prison. That's also like a link, right? Nishima's picture. It's the same man in every picture, except for Michika Nishima. Wow, this is quite a spectacle. I don't mind a lot. I don't know. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> that had to go out. <clears throat> Next wallowing air while doing the Michael Jackson voice. I couldn't suppress it anymore and I was too slow to mute myself. Sorry. I don't think I'll ever manage to erase it from my mind. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Don't worry, Richter. You're quite a spectacle yourself. Do you mean to compare me with the likes of a bizarre criminal? Like a smooth criminal. With the window and storm shutter closed, no light gets in here at all. It's pitch black. The neighbors mentioned they started to keep their house shut like this not long ago. But why would you want to, like, have a pitch black house, though? Like, that shit's suspicious. The person who put all these photos up must have been obsessed with Nishima. Might have had some relation to Nishima's victim, so perhaps it was the opposite. The opposite? What if it was loathing but admiration? But then... Yep. Puts this all in a different light, doesn't it? There's nothing around to confirm his identity, but by the looks of him, I'd say he's Kankichi Reiwei. You've seen him before? I heard he had a criminal record, so I assumed he wouldn't have held a respectable occupation. Is this what a curse does to a person? Ma'am, it would be better not to look so closely! It's amazing! <laughs> what, Haruhan? <laughs> what? What's amazing? The dead body due to the curse? Are you sure you want to admit this in front of the police detective? Cruel is what it is. That's right, it's cruel. Looks like the things spread around here have been like this for a while now. This ritual, or whatever, was something he attempted up to recently. Plenty of the neighbors mentioned having heard strange mantra-like noises coming from here during the night. You think Eva was the one chanting? Not to say, it could have been one of the Shirishis as well. If we look through these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is that we're trying to do. Alright, time for the old books. What do you say, Chief? Would you let me look through it if I wore gloves? Is he gonna wear a single glove? Like Michael Jackson did? Well, it's not like I'm any help with foreign languages. Go ahead. Thank you! Oh, there seems to be a book on Western black magic. The same runes are written here alongside detailed descriptions for the procedures. I suppose you'd call these grimoires. It's all a bunch of nonsense if you ask me, though. You think this evil guy was studying them? Perhaps to perform some kind of ritual? There are a bunch of handwritten notes besides, besides the grimoires. Wherever it was, they were serious about this. Eva doesn't look like the type to be into this stuff, but you should judge a book by its cover. Why would you be studying black magic? Fun? I guess. Like, I think it would be pretty fun. <laughs> According to the materials, this here rune is for the restoration of youth. Perhaps he was trying to become young again. Like plastic surgery and shit. This over here seems to be black magic related to resurrection. Each one of these spells requires a human sacrifice. Talk about dangerous. Resurrection? Like, the right? I guess no matter what part of the world, people will turn to the occult for similar reasons. That's right. It's about the right. These aren't just cut from publications. They even stepped a number of shots on their own. They must have admired him. Why else would they have collected so many pictures? Whatever the case, it certainly were obsessed. Absolutely freaking mazed, I guess. Hmm. What is it? Wait. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <clears throat> this looks like a journal. It's probably Iwai's. A journal? Hmm. Let me read it. His writing is surprisingly thorough. 
It's almost as if he was writing a report for someone. Oh, wow. Now this is something. What is it? What did you write? This is quite a find. Let me give you a summary. Here's a TLDR. So this Kankachiro Iwai fellow, he'd been searching for a spell to restore you for years. So he was into black magic from the start? That's kind of weird, right? That's like, a, you don't know. Do you guys know any people that are into black magic? He believed if he could learn to successfully perform the spell, he could then use it to earn a fortune. To tell you the truth, seems he was already getting funded after he acquired this grim grimoire. You don't see? This is starting to sound kind of familiar. But first, let's find out find out how he got his hands on the grimoire. Did a random woman give it to him? I like the like the one with the the history teacher. It seems that Nejima told him where he could obtain the book when they were both in prison. What? Nejima? What? It's nearly too much of a coincidence. Likely not coincidence. It seems like Iwe took an interest in the Nejima murders of that make the news. He admired him rather passionately. You might even say he worshipped the man. Worship? Nejima of all people? This was a time when students were itching to rebel. Anyone who did something to shake the world was bound to get admirers. Eva had been collecting these photos ever since that time. And since he just so happened to land in prison at the same time as Nishima, he made sure to get in contact. This is a lot. I mean, even having it laid out like this. The thought of Nishima being involved with these grimoires is... Staggering. What me? Black magic sounds like every goth girl wants to do. Fuck, I love goth girls too. If it would get me a goth girl, I would go into black magic as well, I think. What happened to the classics like blood and child sacrifices? Oh, I think they're still being practiced to this day very much. Daphki, it's just that you're not allowed to say who's doing it. It's, it's the elite. It's them doing it, you know. I don't think we've ever had anything pointing to that. What's the connection? To be honest, it's a shock to me too. For years we've been scratching our heads over the motives behind the Nishima mode. Yeah, it's been a mystery to us all from the very start. Well, now, wait just one minute. Do you think... No way, are you saying? That's right. The murders might have been for a ritual. He was attempting to perform black magic. The instructions written down for the sacrificial offering match up exactly what the acts carried out by, with the acts carried out by Nishima. I didn't say he did remember why he did it. Do you think he succeeded, but, like, blocked his memory or something? gotta be kidding me so that sadistic crap he was doing was all for black magic that's what the evidence suggests but considering that we know that the occult is real in this game is it really that far-fetched to, to also believe that someone was doing black magic rituals most likely successful as well right because well talking ferrets are a thing or whatever the goddamn police chief is or the paranormal affairs bureau that's what the evidence suggests. However, Nishima tried to do some type of resurrection ritual, but Evoi had different motives. Who did he want to resurrect? Chief Inspector, you might think this is all the stuff of fantasy, but... That doesn't refute that Nishima and Iwai were both acting in earnest. If black magic exists, then white magic would be real too. I think white magic is actually a thing. You know what my white magic is? A girl hugging you. We're all gonna make it, Burrows. We're all gonna make it. This is batshit insane. You're telling me that Nutjob did all this for some hokey pokey resurrection? Shit. Resurrection. That means there must have been someone Nishima I wanted to bring back to life. Damn. That's it. That has to be it. Fucking hell, it all makes sense now. What? What is it? She's gonna react with, oh dear, again. It's about the Nishima murders. Some information that's been kept from the public. Alright, the piece that's gonna puzzle us all together, I assume. Go on. We broke into his house and arrested him. Oh, he had a dead child with him or something. We also found a baby. A baby? It was a girl who looked to be about six months old, but she was covered in filth. She looked so weak and sickly. We called the medics right away. If we were a second later, I'm sure the girl would have died. Wait, how long ago was this? 20? Do you think it could be Yoko? Yoko is either his daughter or the, or the Nejima girl. 
Uh, so what's Nish might have found her? He told us he'd found her under a bridge. Did he successfully resurrect her? That would have been crazy. He found her? Uh, she was abandoned? I've heard of parents threatening to... Wait. I've heard of parents threatening to leave their child under a bridge as a threat, but to think it really happens. Uh, I suppose these, there are those cases with the dead newborns found stuffed in coin lockers. What? Who the fuck does this shit? Who puts a newborn in a coin locker? Can we please bring back death by execution as like a punishment for people? I know people are fucking... Yeah, you know what? There's actually worse stuff out there in the world. Why am I even surprised? That's not without precedent. There are people who abandon babies in boxes. A place abandon them on the doorstep of someone they, so they can be brought to like people that will take care of them at least. But don't just fucking outright kill them like that. If you put it in a locker, it's gonna die of starvation and dehydration, which is just about one of the most inhumane ways to die. Especially for a baby. Japan does it. Became an epidemic in Japan. What, abandoning, abandoning a child? To the point where they were placed that would have anonymous baby collection box so that the kids would have some chance of not dying of exposure. Yeah. yeah, I mean... I, I'm sure that's like a thing in every civilized world. We, like, there must be places where you could just leave your baby and like... Um, little... Um, L little like uh whatchamacallit little hatches baby hatches is something they're called in germany you, you leave them in there there's like nurses checking regularly taking out the babies if someone leaves them in there and then they're put up for adoption uh, it, it, that's like it's a that's a bad fate right for the child to have most likely still better than dying or being with people that don't love you You'd rather be with people that at least raise you somewhat properly in an orphanage, I think. I don't know, I can't judge this because, like, I'm... I had parents at least, right? Even though, like, my childhood was not, like, as nice as it could have been or something in, in retrospect, but... But still, it's like... Oh, fuck, this is just fucked up, though. It is fucked up. Like, uh, there's something completely wrong with... Like, if you're a parent and you're holding a child and you think about killing it or giving it away there's something wrong with you like from a human like from from an like in your head there has to be something completely wrong if you don't want to just protect this little child born out of out of your i don't know some people i guess don't consider it like as important or holy or like whatever but still it's just fucked, it's just fucked up but bad news for you, Lambda. There are a lot of countries that don't have such things. The childhood in an orphanage is rep reputably extremely not good. Still better than dead, I assume. I don't know. Like, I think that every life is better than dead. But that's just me. It's also why I want to kill criminals, because I do think that even a life in prison... Like, that's not atonement. It's just them sitting out their punishment. Japan was never civilized. Fucking hell, Lightning Hand. Can you be any more of a contrary asshole? <laughs> Coin. Oh, don't link me that fucking Wikipedia article. I'm glad it's not a let's talk because now I'm not gonna click on it. Coin operated locker babies. During certain times of starvation, there were families that would trade babies so as to not have to eat their own children. So like, oh, fuck off, Arcane! Why did, you, why did you tell me that? What the fuck? I didn't need to know this! Whatever the case, we never found out the truth. There's one rumor from back then that I could never get out of my mind. Oh, fuck you, Lightning Hand. Fuck you too. Fuck everyone involved right now in the chat. Like, if you're writing right now, I'm... Fuck you. And it's starting to sound more likely now. Like, sitting on crumbs as well. This is so fucking uncomfortable. 
But damn it! Ah! Oh. My nose is stuffy and like I'm sweaty and my balls are itching. Like, what is this stream? It's fucking cursed, that's what it is. Someone is cursing me right now. There's a cursed bear in the next room over there. Blue is in the wall, curse, cursing me with the curse of sweaty balls and itching. Well, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard of it. Many believe Nishima was guilty of more crimes than what got him convicted. Back then, a lot of girls went missing. Yeah, I remember all of that. My hex totems. <laughs> Fucking totems! How do they work? No, don't link the article! Arcane, fucking shut now! I don't need to know about eating babies, okay? Oh, Why? But it's stupid now! Can we get like a... Can we change topics to like something more upbeat like... Killing, killing criminals or something? Among the high school girls that might have been murdered or maybe I should say sacrificed. Was a girl who was pregnant. Goodness. Oh shit, so he... Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. So did he want to resurrect someone? Or, or like, where, where, is, where is this coming from? I guess he's gonna link it in a second. That's horrific. He killed her. And dismembered her body. And we thought maybe the baby we found is what he pulled out from inside of her. <laughs> Jesus, look at her face. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. This is all speculation on top of more speculation here. But I for one never believed that man would just take in a baby he found under her bridge. I'm feeling sick. Yeah, me too, Harua. Stay strong, ma'am. I know this is hard to hear. Like I said, don't take that to be the full truth. We were running on speculation back then. Now that this whole resurrection magic has come into play, we should consider the possibility it was his child. And that maybe he was trying to revive whoever the mother might have been. Oh! Oh, he didn't revive the child, he tried to revive the mom? Nearly killing his own child due to negligence? What? It's just a theory. A game theory. But my life would be a tad easy if it were true. That's an interesting thought. If there's anyone Nishima would want to resurrect, a deceased wife is as good as guess as any. The fact that he obtained a cursed stone suggests he has an interest in the right of resurrection. Then, you're right. And here I was thinking that he was only after the curse's power to massacre. You know what we're gonna do? Just gotta kill her again if he revives her, you know? Just gotta kill her again, just to one-up him. Devour Hope Strikes once more. Wasted hundreds of hours on that game. What is Devour Hope? What is that? Video game? Isn't half of the German fairy tales about abandoning their own children, eating children? Well, the eating children part is only Hansel and Gretel, right? Like, as far as I know, this is the only tale about like children being eaten. And they're being eaten by a fucking witch, right? Uh, abandoning children is a common theme. Actually, abandoning and eating both are themes in like Hansel and Gretel, right? Because they're being abandoned by their parents. Um, as far as I'm aware, right? Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one where they. But but yeah, fuck! Like fairy tales are just you have to like if you read a fairy tale, you have to remember that the person writing this fairy tale most likely wanted the children to do the opposite of what was happening in a fairy tale. So, if it's about abandoning your children, it's actually the moral of the story is stay with your parents. Like, that's the actual intent. Most of the time, some fairy tales, I don't think you can find any positive intent whatsoever. Like, most of what the Struvel, no, actually, then again, the Struvel Peter is also like, most of the stuff can be interpreted positively. So, I don't know. Like, German fairy tales are weird, though. I agree on that one. It's dead by daylight. You're not missing out by not playing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about dead by daylight. Um, not interested in it, though. Not interested. There's also the Brothers Grimm story about three sisters who got taken by a magician, the older two of which got bled out into a giant basin. 
I don't remember if they got eaten. I actually don't know the story. Can you look it up what it's called? Okay. And like send a let's talk or something. We can read it together. In the meantime, I'm reading the fucked up book for children. Yeah, we, I read it to you guys because I do believe that you guys are already fucked up enough in your head. And um, you're not my children, really. You might be figments of my imagination, but I don't consider you my my child. So uh, it's okay for me to like make you a little bit more weird than before. I would never read it to my own child. I am, yeah, yeah, you are surely you are perfectly normal, Blue. Keep telling yourself that. One day it might be real. One day you might be a real boy. Um, Chief Inspector? Yeah. What happened to the child? Well, the birth registration not filed. Best we could do was find a girl some suitable foster parents. The girl. Oh my god, could it have been... Could it have been Misho Shireishi? Do you think they're, like, doing a double murder here? Like... They faked Mishio's death and she's working together with the Jenny? Was decided to keep the circumstances secret for the sake of the child's future. Can they not just look it up now? Because it's actually kind of related to the case at hand. Lambda, do you know Iron Hands? I don't... The eyes and the hands or something. No, I don't think I do. I know Hans cook in the Luft. Which is Hans look up in the air, but... Um, no. Well, I'm glad she was taken care of. I thought they- wait, 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 wait. They told me in an achievement, which is a little bit of a spoiler, that all of the characters are introduced now, which means that we're not going to get any more of these. Which means that anyone, just about anyone really, anyone younger than Harue, Um, let's say Haru is like 40. No, let's say Haru is like 35. And she was like 15 when it happened. So 20 years. Anyone in the ballpark of like about 20 years could be... Could be either... Tsutsumi's child? Or Nijima's child? It could be Ayame Tono. I don't think it's... Do you guys think these are fair games still? Like the high school girls? I think they're too young. But maybe I'm like doing the math wrong, you know? Because I'm like... It was like... Didn't really do it properly. I just... Guessed. So these are all... I don't think it's Hitomi Okuda. She's like too much of a non-character really to be like the child of a mass murderer. But we know that these are not... These are not uh, Tatsumi's um, daughters. None of them. So one of them though could be like... I think Mishio Shireishi is like... I think Mishio is Nishima's child. Mishio carried an old talisman and memento of her father with her at all times. Following her father's death three years ago, moving to a new house. Her actual father or like her fake father? It's not Mio either, obviously. And Yako is burdened enough as it is being possessed by Michio, if she is actually possessed. I don't think it's her, we haven't met her yet even, so... Who is Yoko? Yoko has to be Tsutsumi's daughter though. Because of her, like, her paranormal talent, right? Surely, surely. Or both, if he adopted her himself. Fucking hell, this, this is getting a good kind of complicated again because it felt far too like too too like um too clear cut earlier for a while. 
place is disgusting. Did Misha Shireshi really live here? Have we, have we done the thing? The old books. Don't mean to, reveal, to derail the conversation, but there's still more written in either Eva's journal. Hmm. We know Eva, he had managed to obtain a grim one thanks to the advice he got from his idol, Nejima, while in prison. After conducting research and gathering more information, he determined he had a chance to get rich quick. Right, he thought he could make some money if he could successfully use rejuvenation magic. Like that, like using rejuvenation magic to make money, that's like coming up with a with a way to like uh, with, with an alternative to fuel or something like i can make my car run on water and this herb or something like as soon as you announce that you're fucking dead you're fucking dead like if just about everyone in the world that's making money with oil or like electric vehicles or whatever will want you killed there's no alternative, no cheap alternative for things that people make money with. People will kill you if you announce that. And if you find, if you actually find a way. Same here, like, or, or if you have like superpowers or something, like, the government will come and take you. Or if you're an alien, the government will come and take you. Or if you can use rejuvenation magic, someone will come and kill you. <laughs> Just because they can. Aren't Nissan trying to do a water-powered car now? Again. Are they? Do they? Do they really? You sure they won't just laugh at you? Well, if it's actually real, they will laugh at you and then kill you. And then laugh at you again. Correct. Turns out someone gave him the idea. And get this. <laughs> it was the one and only queen and chairwoman of Yakuza herself, Natsu Yamamori. Wait, the chairwoman of Hiyaku Soaps? So that's where this leads. Yeah, let me read what he wrote. The queen of Hiyaku has a strange fear of growing old. The, death, the fear of death is even worse. If she does die, she wishes to be revived. And she will spend whatever it takes to preserve her beauty. Might give her a motive. She doesn't want to resurrect someone. She wants to use it preemptively, like uh, the Onmyoshi did. You know, the guy who, who made up the entire ritual thingy. Magic rituals and rites. She'll use whatever means necessary. Her tenacity is unbelievable. She was apparently investing money into any research on resurrection, the restoration of youth, and the like. But she would even throw money at the occult. Places greed will take you. Well then, that brings us to... Hideki Areishi. She presumably funded his research into the rite of resurrection as well. That's what it all points towards. I wouldn't be surprised if the Witch of Yaku pounced at the rumors of the Rite of Resurrection. It's starting to sound likely. It might also be why she's spreading the rumor about having godly powers. It's a convenient cover for it if she becomes young again. Godly powers? What's that all about? Is it gonna tell him about, like, his encounter with Mersault? No, you can't ignore that. Either way, I think Eva took the payments he was getting for his research to seduce the family into taking him in to keep a low profile. The Shireishi family, Mishio and her mother, Toshiko, were just his unlucky marks. I don't know if this is just a random coincidence that he found a place with him. I don't think they would kill you, just take you to the government basement to make we weapons forever. Uh, they will kill you and use your research, but they will still kill you at Marafang. They won't let you. They, 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 no. Uh, far more people are being killed for knowing far too much than we all are aware of, I'm sure. Funny how there's a story about some people developed in... I'm sorry, what? Again? It is funny how there's a story about some people developed in GDR super resistant glass. What is that? Tried to forward it to the Western market and got denied by big glass companies saying how else we're gonna make money if no one will need to buy more glass. So you're actually confirming my, like, my schizo belief. It's not schizophrenic. It's not schizophrenic to think that whenever they can make money, they will they will try to keep making money, shutting down any old cheap alternatives. Like, if it's not making it cheaper for them and they can still make money, they're gonna outright just fucking just bury the idea. I'm pretty sure we could have water-powered cars by now. I'm pretty sure we could. Super glass. Okay, you sent it as a let's talk. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at it. Uh, and 
this is where you get involved. Are you feeling steady, ma'am? Huh? Is this something to do with me? Are you saying that? No, you can't mean. Yeah. He kidnapped her son. You've realized then? Perhaps. What is the sentence I'm trying to form? You can't just give me a name. What was his name again? Switch Shigima. He's not in here. What is the sentence I'm trying to form? You can't mean. You realize then. And then... <laughs> and then just random names. Mishu Shirishis. Child, magic, living sacrifice. What? I'm still missing a few verbs or something. We could go with Fumi Shikanijima's child. Or we could go with Kankishiriwa's living sacrifice. Which would... Was a child. Kankishiro Iwa's living sacrifice was a child. Okay, we did it. On the meat <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, like, this fucking reference. <laughs> on the meat, what does it mean? Fucking, that was Danganronpa 2, wasn't it? The on the meat bone. That was the first case of a leaf in Danganronpa 2. It was a good game. It was a good game, though. Just like the meme potential of this single screenshot. Oh god damn it. I love you, Emil. I love you. That's like that, that's my kind of humor. That's exactly it. Eva moved in with the Shirishis to practice his magic. He needed a sacrifice to perform his Euphorus Ration spell, but that meant extracting the life force from someone young. Would also link Mishio to him, right? Mishio was the one that lured her son into the van or something. That's that's the that was theory they they had before. Oh no! Of course that that awful man. So it was Eva, this man. Eva worshipped Nishima, so he must have also despite Nishima's detractors. Not to mention he was captured and sent to jail once before. Surely he had a bone to pick with the police. So when he realized he had a chance to both avenge Nishima, embarrass the police, and acquire a living sacrifice at the same time. Fuck! <laughs> I'm sure it's to be fucked hard. You got it! Eva kidnapped Haru Shigima's son and managed to score three birds with one stone! I love how Tsutsumi is like on board with all of this. He, like today is the first day he had to make these connections. Like 20 minutes ago. But he's got it all linked together now. Oh shite. Like oh, I mean... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, you're telling me that 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 horrid man he never had the intention of returning my child ah. 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 I thought there might have been might have been a reason why the kidnapper seemed to be mocking the police he never wanted money his aim was to humiliate the force it all makes sense you must have used Mishu to lower your boy's defenses and then kidnapped him on his way back home this track goes so hard man he he took Shuichi Ma'am, please calm down. I understand, but you must remember to breathe. You don't understand. Look at her fucking eyes. I mean, what the fuck, dude? You have absolutely no idea what I'm going through. This isn't a joke. I wouldn't expect the police to understand. You'll never understand. I'm spinning. I'm in a washing machine. <laughs> uh, living sacrifices. What a stupid, stupid idea from a stupid little man. Okay, ma'am, let's just take a moment to breathe. Why don't we go get some fresh air? Can't believe this. This is... This is... Uh, this is a, quite a big revelation, actually. Chief, I think it's best we take our leave. But before we go, 
There's one more important piece of information noted in this journal. Oh. Iwai got in contact with Nishma last year after Nishma was released on parole. He provided him with accommodation and financial support. Is that so? He managed to find a hideout for Nishma to stay in. Damn it. Anything, rather than use his money to support the Shireishis, it seems most went to Nishma instead. If Nishma's looking around anywhere at the moment, it's probably in that hideout. Did he write where it is? Unfortunately, no. Not that I could tell. But it seems Misha knew where it was. She never met with Nishma in person, but she was made to go in and clean up among other things. What good is that information? The girl's already dead! No, no, no. Remember what we said earlier? That we all thought that she was still alive killing people? Hence why we went in here? Oh, she's also a prime suspect for killing this person that's currently dead at our feet, Tutsumi. Have you forgotten that? I know it's not her. I know she's dead. I know she's merely possessing Yaku or something, but that's what they should be thinking. <laughs> Wait, no, she's alive! <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Misha Shireishi is alive. If you can find her and get her to talk, you can get her to spill the beans on his hideout too. Investigator, I'm asking you. I should be going. The lady's not well. See you later. Okay. This deceased body was discovered at the Shureishi home. Oh, here we go. We have more information. Now, Kakichiro once made a living by placing advertisements in magazines to sell phony magic items and good luck charms. He held a nostalgic yearning for the post-war era when things and people were simple. There's nothing but negative things to say about rapidly developing ostentatious world of late. Shit, I can somewhat relate. Radical in his belief that it would be better to tear down society and start over again. Can't tell. Is he based? Kankichiro was discontent with his life spent poking around in society cesspools to make a few coins. When the Nishima murders were widely reported in the media, it had a great impact on Kankichiro, as he witnessed how a single act by a single man could cause a major rift in society. Perceiving Fumishi Kaneshima as a great hero, he began collecting every piece of information he could find on the man. Kankichiro was later arrested for his illegal business practices, and a chance meeting with Fumishika during his incarceration solidified his idolization. You'd think the people imprisoning him could have known that he was obsessed with this guy, and he could have just sent him to different prisons, but no, no, they had they just let him meet his idol. He was captivated by Fumishika's talk of black magic, and following his release, acquired the grimoire Fumishika had hidden away. As for Toshika Shiraishi, Kankichiro set his sights on her after encountering her at the part-time job. When he learned that the Shiraishi family was in financial trouble and could not afford to send Misho to college, he turned on the charm. <laughs> he turned on the charm. I guess the young people would say, he, 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 like, I don't know, what, how do you, how do I inject Riz into this? He risked her and took advantage of their weakness by offering them money. Here we go. He revealed his true colors, however, however, after moving in with the family, and used violence and money to keep Toshiko and Mishio under his thumb. All the while, his belief in black magic deepened, and he found a sponsor in the Hyaku Corporation. Kankichiro forced the Shiraishi family to perform various rituals, with any attempts to resist being met with merciless beatings. The mother and daughter were helpless to resist. After Hyaku offered Kankichiro great sums to intensify his work with black magic, he set his mind to sacrificing a child in order to perform a youth restoration spell. For this purpose, he chose Shuichi Shigema, the son of Haruo Shigema, against whom Fumishika held a grudge. He attempted to enlist Mishio so as to not alarm the boy, and when she resisted, beat her mother 20 times. That's a very specific amount of beatings, but I think it's a good one. With Mishio's assistance, Kankachiro kidnapped Shuichi and locked him up in the Shiraishi house, and told the young, courageous boy that he'd kill Mishio if he tried to run. Oh. 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 Well, I guess he wasn't smart enough to figure out that, like, it was an empty threat. Mm -hmm. While his actions were motivated by a personal grudge against the police, it was first and foremost an attempt to create a societal uproar and breakdown in public order. So Kankichiro painted the crime as a regular kidnapping, demanding a ransom from the family. However, because of an embargo on the press, the kidnapping did not cause a public outcry akin to that of the Nishima murders. Infuriated, Kankichiro Hitoshi could perform the sacrifice ritual by threatening to kill Mishio if she refused. Oh my god, the the we have like information that the characters don't know anything about, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it was in the journal as well. So the the woman, Mishio's mother, killed Shuichi in his sleep. 
but the spell failed, for which Kankichiro blamed her. <laughs> Warning Mishio to keep silent about the murder to avoid incriminating her mother, Kankichiro dumped the boy's body in a nearby river. The tiny corpse was found a week later in the Sumida River after floating through several canals in Honjo. Having drifted for days in the polluted waters, little, little evidence remained. Although Kankichiro performed no further sacrifices, his devotion to black magic only increased. Toshiko and Mishio spent their days consumed by guilt, forced to continue serving Kankichiro until the day they died. They died? Where's Toshiko? Where's the mom? Like, Mishio, Mishio is dead. And Eva is dead. We don't know where the mother is. He risked her up. So we're gonna have like a heart to heart or something here, Richter? Are you feeling better now that we've gotten some fresh air, man? I'm fine. Only finding out who the kidnapper was really made me lose my wits. It's not gonna change anything. Your son is gonna remain dead. We managed to solve the kidnapping case by pure luck here. You're right. But Richter? I... I feel grateful towards Mishio. Because she killed the kidnap. There's that too. But it's for something else. If Mishio is the one killing all these people, then I can just kill her to get the soul dregs. Then she must have acquired quite a sizable amount by now. Soul dregs, I mean. Yeah. Richter, she's losing it. I don't know if you can, like, salvage the situation. Hey, Richter? Whether, whether the kidnapper's dead or alive, it doesn't mean a thing. Revenge won't bring my boy back. And if Nijima is planning to cause a massacre to collect soul drags, then all the better. I won't give up on resurrection. So, counting on you. Hey! <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Alright. Then, uh, continuing on with Tetsu, I think we're gonna. We're gonna stand by. At the Shireishi home, Tetsumi and Ario learned the truth about many things, including the death of Kankichiro Iwe. They hurried to the high school after learning that Misho Shireishi knew the whereabouts of Nishima's hideout. Most likely the last one we're gonna do today. When you realize you might be backing someone incredibly fucked up. Well, she's been fucked up by society, right? That's the problem. He will not be able to hee-hee out of this so easily anymore. <laughs> oh. Boss, I just talked to the Sumida police. Oh, what now? He found an abandoned van in the Shiba Mountains that looked like it had been in an accident. He couldn't lift any fingerprints from it, but they found blood splatters on the front. Guess what? The blood is perfect match for Mishio's! Oh ho! It must be that van that hit Mishio. Suddenly they found it? Suddenly they thought it was a suicide for like how long? Two weeks and suddenly they found a van? You got it. It's all thanks to Yoshimi that we were able to find it out. The license plate had been removed though and they even scraped off the vehicle identification number. It'll take a while to identify the owner. Now they're trying to figure out if the van was sighted anywhere between the scene of the crime. And where it was dumped. God, thanks for the report. Oh. Look at that duck. It's the quackitude. <laughs> oh, someone must have come up with this name before. I mean, a quackitude? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Still doesn't look tired after all this running around. Wish I still had all that stamina. Yeah, I mean, he has to fuck all the women in the neighborhood still, too. By the way, boss, we've confirmed that Mishu died in a vehicular collision. But are we sure that it was really an accident? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The, the damage done by the collision indicates that the driver was traveling at a considerable speed. But there were no brake marks to be found. What motive could Glass's guy and his girlfriend have to kill Mishio? I, I can't come up with anything really. 
at this point. Might need some more information. Exactly, which suggests they may have been intentionally targeting Mishio. And what was the motive, you think? Who would have a reason to kill Mishio? The first person that, wait, the first person that comes to mind is Kankishiro Iwai. After all, she knew about his crimes. But then, Iwai was supposedly able to control Mishio by intimidation alone. There's also the teacher who was taking advantage of Mishio, Koei jo Junoichi. To say he killed her to stop people from finding out that he was blackmailing her? Doesn't seem likely somehow. It's like covering up one crime with an even worse one. You're right. The both of them have fallen prey to her curse. That's true. In that case, it's quite possible she'll also decide to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible. She may have already done it last night, just like with Eva. Is there anything else that could have served as a motive? Talisman, maybe. The one Yoshima was looking for. Oh, do you think someone wanted to take it from her? Well, the talisman wasn't found on the remains, nor in her house. Hmm, but doesn't a hit and run seem like too drastic a measure to go for a little talisman? And in the end, it might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Yeah, it looks that way. I mean, that's what they say you should do, right? If you're, if you're in a collision, you shouldn't break. At least with deer. Is it the same with people? Like, if you're sure to hit, like, a person, no matter if you break or not, is it good to excel? Or just hypothetically, right? I'm not I'm not condoning anyone driving anyone over, all right? Like, that's, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Don't drive anyone over, please. Drive safely and cautiously and be mindful of, of your surroundings. But, just hypothetically, if you were in a situation where you would... You, you would be driving this person over a hundred out of a hundred times. Would it be safer for you if you accelerated just to really get them out of the way or something? Or at least not break? Or should you break and swerve? I mean, if you swerve, you're most likely gonna die, right? Because you're gonna drive into like somewhere else, someone else, you're gonna like tip your car over and so on and so forth. Not even the luminous African-American Central Intelligence Agency employees. No, don't even drive these guys over, okay? Even if you can see them in the dark, don't do it. Don't. Like, their colleagues will come for you. And you don't want that. You, you either get them all at once or not at all. That's the thing with the, with the glowies. They glow in I know they glow in the dark. I know they, they make like for a prime target, but they're trying to trick you, right? They're trying to bait you into doing it. Like they're trying to make you into something you don't want to be. Like that's the thing. They're like making you into into a murderer. Most definitely speed up. Don't ask that question, the driver from Limbus G Corp subject. Yeah. Let's talk. Either way, what we need now is testimony from Mishu herself. With a bit of luck, we may be, able, may be able to ask what happened during the pressure ourselves. Like, are they really that retarded to think that Mishu is actually still alive? Yeah, I can't wrap my head around that particular development. Still have my doubts that... Wait. I still have my doubts that it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this unless me or Miyako turn up. I'd rather have him come sooner rather than later, but... I guess we just have to wait. Shall we head inside? And that's where you have to suspend the chapter, I guess? Alright then. It's nice that we got permission to use the school as our base of operations. The principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they were convinced that it would help the investigation. Dealing with all this must have been a real headache for those guys. I should thank them again later. Nice. Alright, let's go wait inside the school. I'm sure they'll be here any moment. It was quicker than I thought, but I think it's like... I think it's a good point to stop, actually. The idea of a ghost possessing someone is too far out even for them, it seems. Which is weird, because we do know that Mio is, like, frequently exercising ghosts from people. But it seems like the, her, their knowledge of ghost possessions is, like, minor. There's, like, minor possessions. With, like, someone being forced to kill someone else, seems like a big thing. However, the, the 
the right of shadows or whatever it's called like the, the shadow cast the shadow zone that the people have cast over this this area i'm sure it's also like increasing the strength of ghosts or something so that's the only reason why yaku is being possessed this much it's because of the shadow play going on right now According to a ghost can't really make do something. Yeah, 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 I think regular ghosts may may not be able to, but due to the fact that the shadow zone is cast over the neighborhood, I'm sure that means that Mishio's ghost is able to do these things or something. Maybe someone deliberately cast a shadow zone in order for the ghost to be able to do this shit. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? We're gonna save now. Um, never drive over Glowies. We have Tesla calls for that. What do you want to? Do you want to throw the Glowies into the Tesla calls? Okay, so we're gonna end the recording here. Bye, YouTube. I hope you're still enjoying this game as much as I do. I know this is like a short one with one hour twenty-six, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm just very tired again. Bye, YouTube. Bye, bye.